Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Coding Gear. Today I will discuss one more concept in microservice called config server. So what is config server and why config server? Okay, so before moving to config server, first let me explain why we need config server. For example, I have multiple services is there. So in this picture you can see I have two services. One is user service and one is phone service. Okay, so in these two services, what I have configured in user services, I have configured the DB information like DB URL, username, and password. Okay, so for example, uh, these two services using one database. Okay, so here for user service, I have configured the database information, and for font services, also I have configured the database information. And this is duplicated across these services, right? So URL username password and this URL username password for same database is duplicated across multiple services. Apart from that, so this user services is a Eureka client, right? And this phone service is also a Eureka client. So we need to add that property also in each of the microservices. So here, if you will see properly, this information or this configuration is duplicated across all the services. Then how I will avoid the code duplicacy? To avoid the code duplicacy, Spring Cloud config server came. So before to before configuration, the config server first will create one Git repository, and inside this Git repository, we have write all our common configuration like this DB information or Eureka configuration, like all our common configuration across the services. All the con common configuration I will keep inside the Git repository. Okay, so the config server will collect this information from the git repository. Then it will act as a config server. Then now my service like user service and phone service will read this information from the config server by configuring this property. Okay, but here if you will see here AWS secret manager is there. What is this? Here in git repository we can't write like URL username password right so username password we are not writing hard code in the git repository we will not expose directly so we need to keep inside this AWS secret manager uh, username and password and we are retrieving this username and password from the AWS secret manager okay this is how we are implementing config server let's implement without delay let's go to spring toolset here I have so many services is there but I don't have the config server okay before creating the config server first we will create the git repository right in this picture first we will con configure all this information inside git repository first let's create one git repository so git inside git here we can create we will go to the repository section and we will create a new repository here config server repo okay this is public okay add a readme file then create repository now the config server repository has created so here i'll add one file add file create new file okay here the name is application dot properties then inside this application dot properties what i need to keep so I'll give the common configuration here. If you'll go to the services, so in font services, if you'll go to the resources and application.properties, and this is user services, and this is application.properties. Here MySQL related these things. Okay, this one. It's same as the font services information, right? So this is the common configuration. I can move here this common configuration okay i'm deleting from here now i'll keep this one in git repositories now one more common configuration is there okay i'll remove him from here also now this one you take a client default zone right and load balance retreat true okay here also is there okay this one also you can do just go just remove here and here also okay now I'll keep here now come in the changes yeah 
now our git repository is ready now i have hard coded this value for now i have hard coded this url username and password okay later we'll use the aws secret manager okay now the git repository is ready now we'll create the config server so this is also microservices okay we'll go to here then file new starter project this is config server okay config server now next here one dependency is there config server this one config server not client okay config server next finish okay now config server also ready so here in config server first we have to enable config server right at the right enable config server okay then second thing is here the config server will read the common configuration from the git repository right but where i will mention the git repository url so here in properties file we need to mention first mention the port number server dot port let's say nine zero nine six okay so here i'll add one property called spring dot cloud spring dot cloud dot config or not allow overrides it's some git uri dot yeah git uri so we need to mention the url of the git so go to the git here okay code is yes, copy this one and here paste it okay now the config server also ready now the config server will connect to this github repository it will face the common configuration from this uh, repository and it will act as a config server okay now config server is ready now how this user service or fund services okay read this common configuration from the config server okay let's go to each of the services first i'll go to the fund services in form.xml first i need to add the dependency for config client so go to the maven central maven repository maven repo yeah config client spring cloud config client yes this one yes i am using latest one copy this one then paste it here no need to mention the version number okay remove removing this one yeah now config client dependency is added now i'll go one of the services and fund services properties file so here i'll mention on which port number our config server is running i'll use one property called spring dot config config dot import okay equal to so this config server okay this config server running on 9096 right so here i can mention like http colon double slash localhost colon 9096 now same property i am just copy and paste it in user services as well okay here now our service is ready okay so first i'll run the service registry then i'll run the config server now i am running fund services it is giving unable to load config data from http colon localhost http colon localhost okay so here uh, here we need to add config config server okay then colon then http 
colon localhost colon 9096 here same one i just copied here also okay instead of uh, http localhost uh, please ensure first config server it is there let's rerun the fund service again Okay, now user services. Okay, why user services giving error unable to load config data from config server? Okay, maybe in user services we have not added the dependency. Yeah, we have not added the dependency. Go to here, just copy it. Okay, and paste here. Okay, now dependency is added. Now just rerun this application. Yeah, now it's fine, right? So open the postman. Postman. Okay, I am hitting this font service as get font API and passing the one is font ID. I am sending the request. Yeah, now I am getting the response. In this way, we can implement the config server to avoid the code duplicacy in application that properties file. But here in uh, repositories, application that properties, I have configured the common properties. But thing is, I have used the hard coded right root. This is password. Okay, the username and password I have hard coded and the URL also. So instead of hard coding this value, I'll read this value from this AWS secret manager here I, I in this diagram you can see I am reading this uh, I am reading the value from this AWS secret manager in next video I will come up with how we will work with AWS secret manager okay if you have any doubt and question please feel free to uh, reach my comment section and ask the question so definitely I will answer the question of yours okay thank you guys